Joining us now is South Carolina Congresswoman Nancy Mace. Take a look at this first. The Biden family needs to answer for this, and the DOG, DOJ needs to get off its ass and investigate. We've done the work for them so that they can't screw it up now. If these allegations, any of these allegations are proven true, then someone with the last name Biden needs to be charged, prosecuted, and maybe spend a little time in prison to take to account and responsible for the actions they've taken today. All right, joining us now with more South Carolina Congresswoman Nancy Mace is with us. Uh, I agree they do need to get off their ass and then they need to get to the bottom of this. It's interesting because Congressman Comer, the chairman, uh, earlier in the week said to the DOJ, do not indict Hunter Biden. And is the reason for that that you now believe that the committee is getting far deeper into the Biden family and their business dealings with foreign nations, especially hostile nations, and it runs a lot deeper than what they would charge uh, Hunter Biden with? Yes, that is the case. And I will tell you, this is, as you say, Sean, everything you said was 100 percent true. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. And here we have a DOJ and FBI who are who are indicting Trump on misdemeanors and then will not investigate Biden for betraying his country. And I have to tell you, absolutely no one can accuse me of being hyperpartisan or being in the tank for Donald Trump. But good Lord, the amount of evidence in this case is ridiculous. They weren't hiring Hunter Biden for his brains. They weren't hiring certainly Hunter Biden for his brawn. They were hiring him to pay for access to the White House. And we see this pattern repeat itself over and over and over again. The reports that we saw at the Treasury would appear to be racketeering. That comes to mind, money laundering, wire fraud. Why were they able to enrich themselves with tens of millions of dollars, including, as you say, a grandchild, nieces and nephews, current wives, ex-wives, a brother, a son, you name it, and the list goes on. That family tree is very big, and they made a lot of money off of Joe Biden. You know, we talked this week uh, a lot about Romania and about China, and that was only part of the China story. But there's one story that we have uh, full understanding of, and that is, is Burisma, the oil and gas giant in Ukraine. And Joe Biden leveraged $1 billion taxpayer dollars and said, you're not getting it until you fire a prosecutor in Ukraine, who it turns out was looking into Burisma and into Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden had gone on Good Morning America, admitted mm -hmm. he had no experience at all whatsoever in Ukraine, oil, energy, gas, nothing. So the question then remains, Joe had to know that this guy was looking into his son. That facilitated even further payments because the investigation stopped and Joe Biden leveraged a billion taxpayer dollars to do it. Is that an impeachable crime in your view? Well, if the evidence proves that out, then it would be. And you're looking at a president who, time and time again, has lied to the American people. I call them bo the balls and strikes, Sean, whether you have an R or a D by your name. And it is outrageous that this has gone well, unchecked by the mainstream media. It's insane well, to me that let no me one's looking Let me interrupt for a second. This. Joe mm -hmm. Biden is on tape bragging that he leveraged that billion dollars. Hunter Biden is on Good Morning America admitting he had no experience at all, but we know he was getting paid all this money. What more, what in terms of evidence, what more evidence would you need? Well, I love the Constitution and due process. It'll be up to us to show the American people if DOJ won't do its job, we'll do their job for them. But to show the evidence that we get by our investigation, by the bank records, and we only got the bank records of four banks. There were up to a dozen, maybe more. When we looked at the reports at the Treasury, we were only looking at reports for two of the Bidens. Come to find out there are nine of them. There is a lot of investigating that we have to do to prove our case that that would no. be an impeachable offense. You've got to have the evidence before you can do that. And we ought to show that the American people can trust us with the evidence that we collect. How many countries do you believe ultimately are involved here? And how many more LLCs do you think might exist out there? Well, we know of over 20 LLCs right now, and I think there are dozens of countries, countries around the world. These were our adversaries. This was communist China buying access to the White House. And when you look at, for example, when you look at the revolving door of the records of the White House, the plane trips that Hunter Biden has taken with his father as president and vice president, and you add it all up, and it is corruption of the highest order. The most political, the most corruption of any uh, and of anyone in American politics is what I think it will end up being. What about this 1023 form request that the committee made to the DOJ and the FBI, and so far they are unwilling to give it over to the committee? 
What's your reaction well, it, to that? Well, I, I believe that it shows the that the evidence exists, the document exists, that it is true, and certain members of the committee have had their eyeballs on it. And I want us, I want the American people to see this documentation, even if the FBI wants to bury it. Sunshine is the best medicine. Let's bring it to light and show the American people what's really been going on. All right, Congresswoman, thank you. We appreciate you being with us.